What's good, YouTube? This your boy Chi World back to y'all again with another art tutorial, man. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit that like button, comment, subscribe. Make sure you hit post notification so you will be notified every time you put y'all some heat. In today's video, I will be teaching you guys how to draw a cartoon head using your mouse. So, without further ado, let's jump right into this video. First thing you want to do, I'm gonna go ahead and make your picture right size and I do this by holding to stretch the picture out without changing changing like the shape of it uh you hold shift and alt at the same time and that's how you get like an even stretch out for the picture okay I'm gonna make it and I'm gonna drop the opacity down lock that layer and the size I'm drawing on is 18 by 18 inches so that's my template size okay you want to create you a new layer and now we finna create a brush so what you want to do you want to select the this circle tool right here you want to select that and then you want to bring it over here now what you want to do is you want to try to make each corner pointy and then make it kind of thick in the center so all you got to do is just stretch it and make it smaller until we get like a nice little point going on I think I'll make it a little more smaller zoom in we're gonna make it a little smaller Okay, there we go. We got our line. Now, while you still got it selected, you want to come up here and click this new brush. Go to Art Brush. Click OK. Then you want to click OK again. And now, come to your brush. And there go our line we just created. Okay. You want to double click this brush and bring your smoothness all the way to the top. After you do that, hit OK. And now, what you want to do is zoom as close as you can to the picture. You know what I'm saying? And that'll help you create some clean lines since you're using your mouse and it's kind of harder to control. Okay, that's good. We're just going to keep going through. Our lines so the whole strategy is zoom as close as you can to your picture look like a whole lot of pixels you know what I'm saying and it'll make it easier to make the line work with your mouse You know what I'm saying? You can't even tell the difference. It looked like I'm drawing it with a tablet. Alright. So you just gotta be patient, man. Okay, we're gonna come through. Bring this line around. We're gonna loop it back. Look at that. See how good our lines coming out. So the whole the whole key of making some clean line work is just making sure you zooming in close enough that you can get it just right. Okay, we're gonna do this eye. What we're gonna do. Another thing too, you see how I overshot this line? You can do that. I'm gonna show you how to fix it at the end. So don't worry about like overshooting your lines if you need to. And 
if you mess up just hold control <clears throat> and press Z to go back yeah just make sure you get all your some clean lines you know what I'm saying see how we looking so far everything looking good pencil tool move this color right here to the top we're gonna zoom in this eye and we're gonna fill it in by tracing in the inside I went outside that line a little bit but it's all good now you see these lines we overshot I'm gonna go ahead and show you the method to clean that up what you want to do you want to select it then you want to come up here to Divide. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Stretch, stretch all that. You want to select everything. Come to object, expand appearance, and then you want to hit divide. Now, you come up here and click this little white arrow. And all the lines we overshot, we can just hit go through and hit delete twice. Uh oh, delete the wrong thing. Going through every line we overshot, we just press and delete twice. Just clean it up. We can even delete that little line we overshot. But that's how you clean that up. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna do the same thing over here. Select it, go to object, expand appearance, and click divide on your pathfinder. Your white arrow and hit delete twice on all the lines you overshot. Okay, that thing looking good so far. I'm filling his nose with the pencil tool. Now, what you want to do, I'm gonna get your brush, and then we're gonna just come in with our, with our lines. Make the little hairs. Let's see, can we go ahead and copy a couple of these? Hold out. Just keep copying and pasting. And all you gotta do is just to keep pacing it. While you hold Alt, just click your mouse and wherever you let go, it'll drop it. Let's get our brush back out. Let's make that smaller. Hold Alt and just 
just keep keep dropping it. You keep alt select it, and on your mouse you just keep let, dragging and letting go. We just gotta fill in this little area to cover that up. So we're gonna come back, grab some of this, and turn it a little bit. So to cover this up. As long as we keep it. As long as we keep it in this area, we good. Now we got a clean, a clean looking eyebrow, but you can't tell we did with the mouse. You know what I'm saying? Now we gotta do the same thing on this side. So we're gonna get our brush, we're gonna draw some individual hairs, just enough to copy and paste.
gonna make our lines a little bigger, like a two. Let's see how big that is. Let's go to zero three. So we can do the outer shape of his head. different brush sizes you know what I'm saying I'm gonna go to our pencil tool move our black to the top at a time so if we mess up we ain't got to start all the way over you know what I'm saying that's why it's good to make some stopping points Okay, now that we finished with the line work, what we finna do is we finna start the coloring process. So, first thing you wanna do, you wanna 
select everything. Come up here to object, expand appearance. Then you want to click merge on your Pathfinder. To make all your lines one, you want to come over here and make a copy of your line work. Lock the top copy. You want to pick a nice color to start out, a base color, put a skin tone, come over here to your rectangle tool and drag that color over the picture. Now you want to right click onto the color, go to arrange and send to back. Then after you do that, you want to select everything and click merge to make it one with the color right click back on to it isolate select the group and now we can make changes to every area that's closed off so let's go through and change these lips white like this the same color as his lips now for the teeth gonna do we're gonna make a copy of our color layer lock the bottom copy for right now and then we're gonna turn off every layer but the copy layer of the color you're gonna get this selection tool the white selection tool and we're gonna select all this select everything but the teeth and hit delete Now that we got the teeth, you want to select them. Let's change the color. Lock that. Change the color to like a, a orange. A orangey yellow. Okay, you want to come to your view. Wait, let's see. Effects. Artifacts, and we're just gonna click something random so we can get this chart right here. And we're going to get the what effect, yeah, the film grain. So to give us the grill. Okay, we're gonna get the sponge. I like the sponge better. You give it a nice little texture, a grill texture. Okay. okay that's perfect. Right there. Click OK. 
now we got our little grill. So what we finna do? We gonna come up here to edit color, color harmony. Create another layer. You know what? Let me go back. Go back to the bottom layer. Cause we gotta get this. Get this ring some color. Go back to our, our new layer we added, and now it's time to do our shadows. So we're gonna sample the skin tone, find a darker shadow color. Click OK. Go to our pencil tool. And now it's time to draw in these shadows, my boy. brighter with our skin tone on this next layer so let's sample the skin tone I mean we're gonna go we're gonna make an in-between color so I think that'll be pretty good make sure you put your uh, shadows on different layers
there you have it you guys how to draw using your mouse make sure you hit that like button comment more heat coming soon and i'm out this thing